Hi guys, it's Mitz here from Tips for PC. Um, I just want to show you, I'm using the Socrates WordPress theme and I just want to show you how to put Google Custom Search in there. So, um, you know, if you're a Google, you know, into Google AdSense and all that, um, you can make money out of people searching, okay? Um, now, I have got other videos on YouTube that actually just show you how to set up a page where the results come up and stuff like that um, and I'll put a link to that but this one is just about putting um, the Google search into um, your header up here okay because what happens is um, when you s have Socrates it has the Google search down in this section which um, I wanted to leave all this free so I could put all these um, menu things here so I'm moving it up into the header and then moving it over there and stuff like that so I'm going to show you how to do that okay so what we're going to do is go into the dashboard of your website and um, what I've done is I've clicked on appearance okay in the left menu and then I clicked on editor okay so editor and I first you click on appearance and then editor then you go over to the right and you click on header PHP see that the header file and it will come up here now what we've got to search for see how it says search form right there and um, here's the code that I've already pasted in um, this one is JavaScript and you might have others that aren't. It depends on which um, search box you choose. Okay, so I've chosen the one with the uh, watermark inside the box. So that's JavaScript. Now what we've got here is the div um, ID search form and the end of the div here. So in between all of this is my um, code and I am this is my new code now and I'm going to show you what happens um, anytime that you are um, editing something like this you should um, click in here and press on control and A to select the whole lot and copy it I forget sometimes because I'm uh, you know like I've been doing this for a long time so when you're new to it right if you just make one little mistake you could stuff your whole website up so what you want to do is press control A and copy it right right click on it and copy it all and go and open up a notepad right wherever you keep your notepad it might be in the start menu under accessories or whatever mine I've put on the taskbar obviously so basically I've got a copy of that header he um, dot PHP just in case okay I'm not going to save it I'll just leave it down the bottom okay so that's what I would do um, to be safe because look it's your own problem if you stuff your website up because seriously all you have to do if you make a mistake is go back and copy all of this right the same way copy it and paste it back in that's how simple it is and save it right so there's no excuse in making a mistake right so I'm going to press update file okay now um, I've also moved it around a bit I'm just going to show you what it looks like there it is there at the moment so let's just press on the home and refresh it okay that's it now what I want to do now I actually want to just move it over as much as I can over to the middle a bit more just so it's by itself without the heading just hopefully people will use it a bit more then 
So what I'm going to do is go down to the style sheet down the bottom here, style.css. Okay. Now in here we've got to look for something to do with the search forms or something like that. So I'm just going to scroll down quickly. Okay, so we've got three lines here. I can see three lines. I'm going to Now as you can see there they are there. They're about that's how you control where the search is going to be. Okay? We'll have a look at it. Now I've already altered mine. Um, you can have a look at this code and alter it if you want to, but I want to make um, the distance from the left, I want to take it in a bit more, see? So it's 40 pixels from the left at the moment. So what I'm going to do is make it, um, I'll just say I make it 80. I don't know where, oh, actually that might be a bit much. We'll go 60, okay? and then press update file. Okay, we go back and we're going to just press refresh again. Okay, so it's moved over a bit, not enough again. Okay. Um it's not going to move over all the way, but let's do it again, okay? because we've only got a certain amount of space there. I'm going to go 100. I'm going to really jump it up. Okay, and press update. And I can also bring it down from the top as well, but we'll have a look at that. Right. Now to see these um, changes straight away, see how I've moved it? It's still not enough. Oh, I could be here forever. But see how it's moving across. Now the other thing is, um, I might want to bring it down a fraction too. See the distance between here, the red line, and the search box. So let's see if we can do that as well. Okay, so let's go top and see if we can go 120. And this one here, we're going to just jump right into it and try 150. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm bringing it down from the top 120 and this is the top of the banner I'm talking about, the header section. And this one I'm bringing it in 350 from the side. So let's see if it works. Okay, I'm just waiting for it to load and then I'm going over here and I'm going to press on the home button again. Whoa! We took it over to the right, that's fine, but we took it w way too far down the bottom here. Okay, so we're going back again. This is all trial and error. Okay, so let's try 100 there. And we'll try 200 here. Now, this is what you've got to do. You have to try it out for yourself because I really can't tell you exactly where to position your things, okay? All I know is that you go to these three lines here and this will change the top and the left and stuff like that, okay? So let's refresh it. Hopefully I've fixed it up. It's got to go up. Yay, we're getting there. Okay, so I hope you get the picture. See how I'm moving this around. Now, that's kind of in the middle, you know, that's not too bad. I'm pretty happy with that. Now, the other thing is that you can test your thing. You can test your search. Okay, let's do it. But don't click on the ads when you get there. Okay, so let's press search. Right, and this is how you test your search. See, it worked. It's come up in a page, right, with the ads on top, ads down the side, and anything to do with my websites down the middle. All right, um, I hope you understand that. Um, go and do it yourself. Okay, see you later.
Okay guys, if you're watching this video on YouTube, um, you can click on the subscribe button up here and also click here um, and there's 238 other videos, okay? So subscribe, right? And also, um, usually when I do a video, I've got a link to the website that'll give you more information about what the video is about. So basically this video here is about Windows 7 tips at the moment and if you click on that link it'll take you to heaps more Windows 7 tips. Alright, um, thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe on this button and visit my website down below. Alright, thank you.